end of the year book tag, so let's just get into it. I don't know why I did this. I don't like that. Let's pretend I didn't do that. First question is, are there any books you started this year that you still need to finish? And oh my god, my answer is yes. <laughs> First one that comes to mind is Blood Rites by Barbara Ehrenreich. Ehrenreich? I don't know, I'm sorry. This is about or the origins and history of the passions of war. I'm most of the way through this one. My book mark is right here. But I'm not enjoying it and it's been dragging. So I really, really want to finish this before the end of the year so that I can pick up a different nonfiction instead. And then the next two, like, I want to finish by the end of the year, but I'm almost definitely not going to. But we can hope. The first is Beyond Survival, Strategies and Stories from the Transformative Justice Movement. Um, this is self-explanatory. <laughs> it's strategies for transformative justice. Transformative. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm about halfway through. Again, I like this one more than Blood Rights, but it's, it's also very slow and a little bit boring at times. But I have gotten a lot of good insight from this book, so I'd like to learn more. And the last book I have, I'm almost definitely not going to finish, and that is The Count of Monte Cristo. This is a huge, 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 huge classic. I think it's like 1,300 pages, and I'm only right here. I think I'm only like 304 pages in. 300 or 400 pages in. And if you don't know, this book follows our main character who is thrown into prison for a jail he did not commit. While there he learns of this like great treasure that's buried in Monte Cristo, an island, and it becomes his goal to escape so that he can claim the treasure and exact revenge on people who put him in prison in the first place. I'm actually really enjoying this so far. It's really accessible, it's really easy to read, but it's just huge. And I was at a boring part for a little while, so I just stopped reading it and I need to pick it back up. The next question, I have to change a little bit because I'm doing this very late into the year. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? It is the end of November as I am filming this. So I'm going to change this to like a wintry book. And for that, I have The Winter Witch by Paula Braxton. And yes, I did pick this because it has winter in the title. Do I know what this is about? Not really. The back says that it follows um, a girl growing up in a Welsh town who has not spoken since she was a young girl. Her silence is a mystery as well as her magic. Concerned for her safety, her mother is anxious to see her married, and Kay Jenkins, a widower from the Fall Hills, seems the best choice. I think it's a romance. I think it's just like a nice cozy fantasy, and I'm interested in it. And I just think like, I don't tend to read according to the season because I'm a big like mood reader, so I think it would be nice to like try to actually get myself to read like a wintry book in winter. Next question, is there a new release you're still waiting for? No. It is the end of November as I write this. I do not know any books that are coming out in December, so I'm just gonna skip that one. <laughs> Next question is, what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? First book I have for this question is The Last Tale of the Flower Ride by Rashmi Chakshi. This book, as I understand it, was like a retelling of Bluebeard. No one else has said that when they talk about this book, but I swear to God she said that when she was writing it. But this book follows our main character, who gets married to this man, and from the very beginning she tells him that she has one condition, and that's to never any ask any questions about her past. And they're in love, everything's going well, but then one day he does start to delve more into her past, and there's some darkness there. That's all I know. I don't know much, obviously. But I was really looking forward to this one when it came out, and I would really love to pick it up soon. The next book I want to read I know nothing about, and that is The Sunlit Man by Brandon Sanderson. This is Secret Project number four, and so far I've read all three all three other Secret Project books this year, so I'd really like to read them all this year and not leave this one for next year. That being said, I know nothing about it. I just hope it's better than books two and three because I did not like those that much. And then lastly, I would like to read A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. This book takes place in a world where like centuries ago the world was almost destroyed by this big dragon. Um, and then in the current day it follows different societies, some of which are terrified of all dragons and see them as evil, and some worship like water dragons but are still afraid of fire dragons. Um, it's the prequel to The Priory of the Orange Tree, which is the book that I'm summarizing because I have no idea what this book is about. <laughs> Priory of the Orange Tree has like multiple POVs, it follows a maid, not a maid, it follows like a handmaiden I guess is her job. It also follows like a princess, well queen. I'm giving a terrible, terrible description. It's been a while since I've read The Priory of the Orange Tree. But I am excited for this one. All I know is that it's the same world. I know nothing else about this book. And it's huge. But I'm really in the mood for like a huge fantasy. So I think this will be perfect to end the year with. Next question. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your new favorite book of the year? I hate to repeat the same book I literally just mentioned. But I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> 
I do think A Day of Fall and Night could be one of my favorites of the year because I love the part where the orange tree so much and as I said I'm really in the mood for like a big chunky fantasy so I think this is like right up my alley right now. Sorry. I'll give another I'll give another one that I haven't mentioned just in case. Let me look. Okay another book. The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. It's been so long since I've read the first book in this series, but I recently read Babel by R.F. Kuang and I really loved it and made me really want to get back into this series. And the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2024? And my answer is just going to be a vague, yes I have. And I might be talking about that in another video at some point, who knows. <laughs> but that is all for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Goodbye.